Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. And I'm Matt. Today we're talking about Balconis and their high wheat bourbon. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button, click that notification bell. Matt, you want to tell me some more about this uh, particular Balconis product? Look, it's got a pretty brown label. Now, this is Balconis, the weeded, the Texas weeded bourbon. And this is 61.3%, which I really like. And this is the original one back from 2019. This was brought here to us by our friend John Picard, Captain Make It Happen. Have not I know heard his name in a long time, but obviously he's bought lots of great whiskey over the years. But this is the ones he bought us a couple years ago. So it's 51% blue corn, 31% Texas red winter wheat, and 18% golden promise malted barley. And it's 34 months old. And, and this is 2019. We're going to compare it to the 2021 which is 45 minutes old, same batch bill. So let's see what we think here of the original one brought by our buddy, Captain Make It Happen. It smells great because, you know, it's It smells big and pungent. (laughs) Yes, it does. It smells like Balconis. It does. It's just that same Balconis fingerprint. It's just, it's Balconis. It's very, very corn dominant. This almost smells like a blue corn. Which it is blue corn, so that's oh, why. Okay. Good reason. It, it it smells it. It smells of that that hefty uh, <coughs> barnyard walking into just a hay field. Oh, it smells so good though. It's got tons of apple and cinnamon, some like double bubble gum, brown sugar, t- baking spices. I'm getting more into the leather and the oils. Oh, yeah, those are definitely there. But, ooh, chocolate, like a chocolate fudge brownie that's warm and gooey, fresh from the oven. Oh, it smells so awesome. It's like some fresh bread, a little va- Yeah, it's like some vanilla and pecan, but that, that chewy fudge brownie. Oh, my gosh. It's just so awesome. Yeah, I need, I want to do a, a, you know, I think a brownie and whiskey episode would be good. We've never done something like that. I like baked goods, and your wife bakes good, so. <laughs> it should be fun. I, I can make brownies, but I can't make all the fancy stuff. Mm. Oh, man. That's oh. a Balconis, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's definitely nice and warming. That same chocolate brownies on the palate with cinnamon and sugar and this caramel drizzle all over it. Uh, some vanilla and some pralines thrown on top. It's got this nice finish, though. It's black leather, uh, or sorry, black pepper and worn leather, and super oily and dark, and just dense, thick. It's Balconis. I mean, it's everything Balconis should be. And once again, this is the third piece that we promised you guys that goes into the red label pot still. So, we reviewed all the pieces of the pot still for you guys. You're welcome. Oh, mm. God. That's so, so big and robust. It really is. Mm, mm, There's mm. a cherry fruitiness on top of the apple. It's fun that they're both there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh, drop of water, more of the, more of the barrel barrel tan, and start playing into the picture. A little bit more of the leather, a little bit more astringent. It's a little bit more clingy with a drop of water. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. All right. So now let's compare it. So we got this one here from John. We got this one from our buddy Gabe. We appreciate this from the distillery. This is the 2021 version. It's 45 months old and comes in at 60.6%. So like I said, so this is a couple years later, not another year older. And so it's what's fun is now comparing older Balcons when this was the first release of the Weedy here in 2019 to a couple years later and seeing how much changed. And what I found with Balcons is it's getting older and older in general. It's getting better and better, which is. I was going to say, this smells so good. This smells more up uh, down the alley of a typical bourbon. It does. It has less of the leather, less of the the wood tannins. Um, More fruit. Yeah, a lot more fruit. Chocolatey goodness. More, it, it's, apple. it smells lighter. It smells more like brown sugar versus molasses. Agree. Yeah, a lot of powdered sugar, uh, apples and cherries again. Oh, just that same warm chocolate gooey brownie. 
Mm-hmm. It just it smells great. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, see, it's so ridiculous. It's how just good as that oily is. and viscous on the palate, though. It's just as hefty and clean. Absolutely. It's still Balcona's thumbprint, like just yeah. On oh, come yeah, on. Com- yeah, comparing the, the, it's just like everything we got in the first one in twenty, and then oof to the next level with an, with another with another you know another year on that barrel. Yeah, and I think it dialed down some of the some of the heavier. Uh, wood tannin notes. I think I don't, know, I don't know what changed as far as that goes, but I really enjoy uh, the new version uh, even more than I like the old one. I, mean, I wonder with the last couple of years of having more cold we've had in the past, past several years, if that's making a difference at all. I think it certainly is. In, in Waco, you know, only an hour and a half south of us. Yeah. I think it certainly could be a factor in why. It's going this way, but I don't know. Either way, it's it's freaking awesome. That's all I know. Oh. Oh, that's so fun. So a drop of water still woke up those barrel tannins. It still woke up the leather. It still woke up, and that, that kind of became a little bit bigger. So if that's something you really enjoyed out of the last one, you can add a couple drops in there, and they amp that note up a little bit. Hmm. Cool. Well, thanks, Gabe. Thanks, John. No surprise. We like them. Surprise. Well, thanks, John. Thanks, Gabe. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. Uh, we just really love Balconas, and so it's like not a surprise to anyone. <laughs> so, you know. Well, they have yet to put out a product that either of us have disliked. Yeah, that this is true, which is shocking, but it's true. Well, with the number of releases they've had, you figured they hit a miss at some point. But not yet. And I'm glad. Yeah. Well, the early, earlier baby blue stuff, I was not a big fan of. Yeah, like when there's old five-gallon barrel ones. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, but anything in the last, you know, probably seven or eight years, just magic. It's been so good. You know. Oh, yeah. This bottle's also signed by Jared. Oh, fun. That's cool. So. John's like, hey, I didn't even know it. I got you a sign bottle. I'm like, cool. <laughs> well, everybody, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Click that notification bell. We're also live every Monday night. Come hang out with us there. Join the conversation. Become part of the community. Until next time, keep on crusading. Better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Unlisted, we are live. That's the like and subscribe. That's how I made Mac bigger. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Gotta start these things off with a laugh, you know? Absolutely. Five, four, 